Hello and welcome. In the next six minutes, you'll learn how to deploy a MySQL database and how apps can connect. First, I'll switch to the namespace T-SQL demo, which I've already made. You can use whatever you want. For each namespace, you have to create a Docker secret, so I'll take care of that now. Once the Docker secret is created in this namespace, you don't ever have to do it again. Okay, so to create an instance, I'll make a copy of the default template. You can get that either from the documentation or you can download it directly from Tanzinet. I'll name this instance demo MySQL DB. And on this TKGI cluster, the storage class name is thin. Also notice that the image pull secret refers to the Docker secret that we created earlier. I'll turn on high availability and I'll tweak some resources just to keep the deployment tight. And that's it. Creating an instance is now as easy as kubectl apply. This step is a little sped up. The operator is doing a lot of work behind the scenes to set up an HA cluster. I wanted you to see what that looks like. On my cluster, it takes a couple minutes in real time. And it's done. And I can see that this database is now marked as ready and running. Okay, so I'll switch gears and deploy an application that can talk to the database. I'm using Node, but you can use whatever language you like. Before I do this, I need to create a user and a database. So first I'll need to log into the database. Because we ship secure by default, the remote root user access is blocked. And since this requires the root user, I have to do that locally. There are four steps and you must do all four. First, I create the database. Second, I create a user. Third, I grant privileges on that database to the user. And finally, flush privileges. Don't forget this step. And that's it. So I'm gonna pull down an app that monitors the database. You can use it too if you want. It relies on Redis as well, which I've already installed. The first step is clone. The second step is Docker build. and then docker tag. And finally, docker push to your local registry so that Kubernetes can deploy it. Okay, so I'll edit a copy of the deployment template to set up the environment variables for the app. And before I do this, I'll get the IP address for the database. and I'll get the Redis credentials for what I've set up earlier. Now, 
give the deployment template the location of the image registry for which you just did Docker push. In my case, we're using Harbor. And change the environment variables so that the app will be able to connect to the services. And that's it. Kubectl apply creates a deployment. And it will also create a service endpoint so that you can navigate to the app. So next I'll get that IP address for the service. and navigate to the app, which is listening on port 8080. And that's it. I hope that this demo was helpful. Feel free to check out our other videos and learn more.